Assalamualaikum, hai semua Saya nak beri sedikit tutorial tentang um, kaedah untuk melakukan um, analisis biodiversity Okay, so biodiversity of course um, seperti yang anda sepatutnya tahu melibatkan komposisi spesies, um, kelimpahan spesies Okay, jadi bila kita lakukan <coughs> persampulan yang melibatkan biodiversity satu per perkara kita harus ingat um, bukan semata-mata menghasilkan checklist of species tapi juga mengambil kira kelimpahan setiap kelimpahan itu bermaksud bilangan individu okay, bagi setiap species dan another thing is kita harus mem memaksimumkan um, usaha persampulan maksudnya memperbanyakkan replikat <coughs> maksud replikat di sini adalah contohnya Walaupun kita hanya lakukan persampulan biodiversity pada satu-satu tempat, satu-satu habitat saja, tapi yang dimaksudkan dengan replikat ini adalah mungkin dari segi um, bilangan kontrak, bilangan plot, okay, itu adalah kita panggil sebagai replikat. Okay. Jadi, um, di sini saya akan berikan sedikit tutorial okay, um, dan uh, software research yang saya gunakan di sini adalah PAS, it's very simple. Um, kamu boleh download internet okay? PAST <coughs> okay, It's a very simple software So um, Saya berikan satu contoh data lah. Okay, Data ini adalah data ikan okay, Seperti yang anda boleh lihat di sini Data ikan um, Dan uh, Persampalan yang dilakukan di satu sungai okay? Tapi uh, Replikatnya adalah mewakili um, Kawasan sungai itu Ok ada yang di hulu, ada yang di hilir, ada yang di tengah okay. So itu yang yang di um, maksudkan di sini dengan DSMS, US dengan DS So then this is what it mean by replicate okay. So the more replicate you have would be better So in this case, um, cumulative species adalah sebanyak 42 okay. So ini adalah species-species ikan okay. So data ini kita akan importkan dalam PAS okay. So this is how a PAS would look like Okay. Um, <coughs> kalau kamu um, download version yang terkini Dia agak lain sikit daripada apa yang saya ada Cuma ni saya dah terbiasa dengan version yang lama ni um, But you can explore the new version K Tapi kalau kamu ada problem and you want to use this version You can um, ask from your friends that already has um, this version of software I have distributed to some of your friends Okay, I'm going to show you how you going you um, you can um, import your data in a pass software. Okay, it's very easy. Okay, so this is your data. Okay, from Excel, you just copy them. Okay, so remember to arrange your data in such a way that it has the species, the replicates, and the abundance. Okay, copy that. Go to your pass and make sure the three boxes are labeled I'm um, sorry are clicked are ticked okay and then click um, the top left of your um, of the column and just hit paste okay and then unclick all the boxes so this is how you um, you load your data into pass now you can already start doing the analysis so the first analysis that I'm going to show you is the biodiversity indices. So um, on top of the of the interface, you have the diversity tab. Just click there and choose diversity indices. Okay. So now you already has your uh, result. Okay, shown in species richness, the number of individuals for different replicates or different sites. Okay, um, what else? Simpson. Simpson 1 minus T adalah um, a measure of diversity juga. A diversity selain daripada Shannon. Tapi um, Simpson ni dia um, uh, dia bias kepada kedominanan lah. That's why kalau kita tengok dia adalah 1 minus T. So dia adalah um, uh, meng mengira keperbagaian species. Okay, but tapi dia punya pemberat adalah kepada kedominanan. Okay, then another another type of diversity that we have is Shannon. Okay, dia punya simbol adalah H prime. Okay, then <coughs> dia punya skala 
um, you can't really tell the exact skala, okay? Tapi there has been reported 0. Point something until even 4. Point something. So in this case, kita ada um, between 1.95 until the highest one is 2.89. So you can say that this is the highest diversity. Evenness adalah kesamarataan means um, taburan species dekat dif, uh, dekat kita punya different um, habitat ni adalah uh, sama measuring the kesamarataan okay of species in this uh, different habitat so um, dia punya skala juga kosong sampai satu um, sama juga macam dominant study one is very even zero is not even Okay, and you have other indices which I'm not going to talk about very detail. You can um, browse on your own. Only I want to talk about Chow One. Okay, Chow One ni adalah um, measure um, of estimate of the species that you would get kalau kamu uh, continue kamu punya sampling. So in this case, for example, DS kita ada 29. But if Chow One say 36.2 means kita ada pertambahan sebanyak lebih kurang tujuh species lagi kalau kita tambah lagi kita punya persepulan what about MS 22 kepada 22.86 so see it's only an increase of 0.86 unlike the S study so how did it, uh, Chow Wan get this number <coughs> it's through simulation and according to your to the to the kelimpahan to the number of species and a lot of things so you don't have, you don't have to know in detail so you just need to know that how many increase in species from the initial species. So if let's say kamu ada banyak pertambahan species tu maknanya sampling kamu belum cukup belum cukup uh, complete lah okay, whereby contohnya MS ni hanya terdapat 0.86 sahaja. So means that you almost you know covered the total species um, in that area. That's what it Another type of um, uh, that assessment is to know the um, uh, accumulation, accumulative uh, species number. So how do you get accumulative species number? Accumulative ni means um, the total number that you get in your area. Uh, so there are two genes. Satu adalah um, individually means you did kamu buat satu per satu based on your plots based on your quadrat or based on your replicates or you have your sample reflection means kamu accumulate kind the whole species regardless uh, of the replicates regardless of the plots so kamu of, of course kan dapat lebih banyak um, accumulate uh, lebih banyak number of species lah compared to the individual ones um, and individual dia akan buat secara individual ok the plots individually whereby sample dia akan buat secara keseluruhan and it only produce one one curve so um, and refraction what is refraction so um, bila kita buat persampulan um, kita tak boleh lari daripada ketidaksamarataan sampling effect so satu side ada 200 individu another side ada 150 individu well of course in terms of kelimpahan 200 lagi banyak daripada 150 but we cannot um, by right kita tak boleh nak compare dia punya species richness um, dengan number of individual yang berbeza so that's why we need to verify verify the 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 numbers lah okay let's um, that's what it means by individual refraction and sample refraction so kita tengok dulu sample refraction okay you click the sample refraction and keluar macam ni and you want to see the graph so this is the graph. Um, so bila kita accumulatekan the whole species dekat keempat-empat side tu, kita akan dapat sebanyak lebih kurang 42 species. Okay, secara keseluruhan. Whereby, kalau kita buat individual refraction, okay, okay, don't worry about that. You just click graph. We will have four don't worry about the blue lines it's just the 95% confidence interval so unclick that so we should actually get four separate curve okay that's what it shows here so paxi x adalah 
merujuk kepada kelimpahan species ataupun in another word is a number of individuals manakala faksi Y adalah bilangan species ataupun species richness so we can see that um, DS having the highest number of species uh, manakala MS is having the lowest number of species can you see what I mean? <coughs> And you can also, and you can, can, can you tell me set mana yang mempunyai kelimpahan individu yang paling tinggi? So, it should be TS. Sebab apa? Curve dia paling, paling um, lambat habis lah berbanding dengan yang lain. Okay? So, that's why um, an individual refraction or individual refraction curve means.